Hey you guys, it's Erin, welcome back to my channel. Um, what I wanna to talk to you about today is just what you do with second or third day old hair. Um, as busy moms or busy women juggling, you know, work and marriages and kids and just things, activities, um, most of us don't get to wash our hair every single day. We don't have time to wash and dry our hair every day, especially if you have longer hair, you know it's a very time consuming process to blow it out, to make sure it looks presentable, because you can't just like, some of you might be lucky enough to just shower and then walk out the door and just kind of let it air dry, but um, I actually used to do that. <laughs> Um, a lot in my 20s, but I, I really can't get away with that anymore. I feel like since you know I've gotten older, I kind of need the hair. So anyway, I often have second or third day old hair just, just from a time perspective. I just don't have the physical time to devote to drying my hair every single day. You know, from a, an efficiency perspective, I just think it's more efficient and better for your hair to not wash it every single day and not dry it every single day. And my hair's already um, colored, I do highlights, so you know, I have that element added on top of it, whereas if you don't color your hair, it may be fine for you to wash it every day. But since I color my hair, um, I don't really wanna do the wash and the heat every single day. So then what do you do when your hair looks like this, right? You wake up, you get out of bed, and this is, this is what we're talking about. Um, well, first of all, you, you can put a little makeup on. That always helps. But <laughs> what I do is, um, you know, I'll get up and then I will brush my hair usually. Not always. I know that's sad. But sometimes in the carpool line, I do not have brushed hair. So I'll brush my hair. Which will help, you know, just make it look a little bit better. Okay, so at least it's sort of brushed and smooth. But I still have that kind of like, it looks a little greasy and it looks like it needs to be washed feeling. So um, that's when I reach for my dry shampoo. This one is Dove dry shampoo. It's called Refreshing Care. And, um, I, really, I can't remember who talked about this. I think it might have been Marnie. I don't know, was it you Marnie? I bought it, I like it a lot. So I just spray that kind of at the root along the sides. So it has this sort of white powdery effect. It get, it's sort of like a root fixer. And it adds some like volume to my hair and it makes it look less greasy. So. It's really kind of a three in one. So I just go along the, the part, the sides, uh, along the hairline basically. All right, so already it's looking a little bit fresher, right? So then um, I have some go-to hairstyles that I use that um, get me out the door in a pinch when, um, again, I'm just in a hurry but I wanna look pulled together. So the first would be probably the one I do most often, which is literally like, I just part it on the side. You know, it's already been brushed. I get these clumps in the back, so I just wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay, it's smooth. I gather it with one hand. Now here's the hand with the rubber band, see it? And then all I'm gonna do is put it through once, put it through again, and then just loop it. Loop it under. So see, I have that little loop back there. And then I'll turn around and show you what it looks like in the front. So I usually have one piece that hangs down. Sometimes I will curl this piece a little bit. And then I just kind of stick a finger in there and loosen it up a little bit so it's not so tight to my head. And sometimes I can go like more to the side with that little loop. Um, and you can pull it tighter if you want it tighter. Do more of a tight loop. So that's an easy one. And then you can make the loop smaller or bigger depending on what you wanna do. The second one I showed you guys before, I think a long time ago, but I'm gonna show it to you again. This is what I do to create some volume on the top of my hair. You can always tease your hair. I'm, 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 a, I'm all about the teasing where you just go and then smooth it out. That'll definitely create volume in a hurry, right? 
But there's another little sneaky way. And if you have a nice comb, I would part, do one part here. I just have my brush with me, so I'll just show you with my brush. And then do the same, like equidistant part on this side. And then what you have is this kind of middle section. This would have been what you curled in the 80s, you know, that like bang section, except now it's actually one length usually and long. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that and just braid it. So like a regular braid. Okay, so once I've run out of hair, and my hair's a little layered, so I've run out of hair pretty quickly. There goes the dry shampoo. If I am shiny and sweaty, it's because our AC quit up here. It's a separate unit, and so it's, it's 84 degrees up here right now. But what happens is this braid pushes your hair a little bit forward and creates volume. Now I can't see if it's, I'm too far away to see if it's even. Sometimes it's not even, so you have to pull a little bit out. Um, but just keep that in mind, if it's not even, you wanna just kinda even it out. And then I can either leave it like this, just kinda half up, you know, with a little volume on top, or what I like to do a lot is I, br I, I use one of these guys, which is a round brush, but it's got those special bristles that really gets all of the hair. I think it's like boar's, boar's, he boar's hair or some sort of animal's hair. Um, is that bad? Is that like a PETA violation? Anyway, so it gets all of the hair and I brush it back. Now my hair is finally starting to get longer so I can actually do a pony again. I don't remove the rubber band from the top section and then I just put another ponytail in. Now if you have a nice, long, sleek ponytail, that's gonna look fabulous. You know, that long, straight, sleek pony. My hair's a little bit shorter right now, so you know, I don't have that long, sleek pony effect, but it's still cute. Um, and then you can take this one step further and just take a little piece of hair underneath. So, a little tiny piece, and wrap it around the actual pony and you could bobby pin that in, but what I often do, it's easier for me, is just to tuck it into the rubber band, and I feel like it's more secure that way. So my hair actually wraps the rubber band, see that? So that, that hair is like, you know, less than five minutes. And when you do the parts really sharply, these parts right here, you do have that dramatic contrast between this section and this section, which I think is like edgy and cool and fun. So the next one I wanna show you is one that I learned from a hairstylist. And it's really easy and it's fun and I just wanted to show it to you guys. So all you do for this one is I would do a quick, like grab the upper section of your hair, put them in a clip or whatever you have, hair tie, whatever works best. And then you have this kind of section underneath that you put into a bun. And then you put a hair tie around that bun. Or you could bobby pin it, I guess, but this is just as easy. Okay, and then you take out the top part and you might wanna go over it again with a brush. So what we're doing here is just creating a faux, a faux bob. So now what you do is you take some bobby pins this is lovely packaging I have here. I'm just gonna take a few. There we go. And I'm gonna go in the back, and all I'm gonna do is grab a section. So here's the section, and I'm going to flip it, flip it under. So the hair is, you know, like swirled under. And then I'm just gonna take my bobby pin and pin that section to the back of my hair. Now, I think you don't have to like pin the whole thing. You can leave a couple pieces hanging if your hair is not that long. So here's another one. This one is gonna take you a little bit longer. You could add more pins or, you know, certainly do a 
nicer job than I am when you're looking in the mirror. I'm doing this freestyle. There we go, I've created a little faux bob. And I like leaving that piece out in the front. I think that's really elegant. So you can do this like, oh, I wanna just feel like I have a bob, but I don't actually have a bob. And then if it's too contrived or too folded under, you know, just loosen it up by pulling on it or taking a couple pieces, little pieces, wispy pieces out. You know, like maybe I wanna take out a piece up at the front, like that. So there's your faux bob. And then last but not least, I wanna show you guys my top knot because I think the top knot is really cute. And especially if you have makeup on, when you don't have makeup on, you, you are, I personally, I want my hair. Um, it just helps, but if you do have makeup on but you don't have time to do your hair, the top knot can be a really cute solution. Okay, so for the top knot, I wanna go back to my brush that really gets all the hair. Um, and top knots, you can either do you know, your side part and then pull it like this, or you can go full blown and just pull it all straight back. It's up to you, whatever you're feeling like. Now I can't look in the mirror, so I can't see how smooth it is, but I would obviously I would check it in the mirror and see. Now, and the other important thing to note here is that I don't have, I don't have a lot of hair, right? My hair's not really long, so if your hair's longer, you're gonna get a better top knot. Okay, so here, I think you all know how to make a bun, but basically I just twist it, and then twist it, and twist it, and swirl it around. Did you see that? So there you have. And then I wrap the rubber band around a couple times. Let's see, this one really wants to go around three times. So here's the key, because right now it's sort of like a sad little top knot, you kind of pull at it, like you pull at the sides and then you can pull at the top. You don't want to pull the whole thing out, but you want to just create more volume with your top knot. And it, when it's a natural top knot, it always looks so much better than the hot bun thing, I think. Again, I can't really see from this far away, but I think that's about right. And then if you wanted wispies, you could pull down wispies, um, whatever you prefer. A little like headband would be cute if you're younger. Um, but that's another like go-to, I gotta run out the door hairstyle that feels like pulled together, elegant. It's also great in the heat. Um, I'm just, as I'm you know here, I'm just totally dying from the 84 degrees. <laughs> So I hope that you guys like those little quick hairstyles. They're really some of my go-tos, um, especially with the two-day-old hair. And let me know if you have any questions. I wanted to remind you next week, I am gonna tackle wardrobe basics. It's a big one. I've, d I've done it before, but I think it's worth, uh, it's time to do it again. So be sure to tune in for that. Don't forget to subscribe to my blog. You know, a lot of you will see something on a video and then you're like, where's the link? How come I can't see it? Where is it? Um, I always put the links on the blog. So, um, you know, you wanna subscribe to the blog so you don't miss out on those. And then also I do a lot of content on the blog that I don't put on YouTube. So for example, last week I did how to wear a blanket wrap or a poncho that I did not put on YouTube. And I put a bunch of options and all price range price points for you guys to take a look at. So there's a lot of different content on the blog. It's just a different medium. It's a different way that I can share information with you. So be sure to subscribe to the blog. And then also Instagram is another medium I use all the time and I put a lot of different content. There's always overlap, but I do a lot of like looks of the day on Instagram that I don't necessarily feature on the blog or on YouTube. And then I do a lot of just like you know, product shots or just some inspirational shots, um, travel shots that I wouldn't do anywhere else. So be sure to <laughs> check me out on Instagram too. It's at Busby Style. And uh, that's all I have for you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all of your wonderful feedback. You guys are always so great about commenting and le letting me know how things are going. So keep it up and don't forget um, to subscribe to my channel too if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye. And it's really, really, really
really affordable, like ridiculous. It's $16. The name of the website is called SheIn.com. I'm gonna put a link to this below.